So welcome back everybody to another video on my channel. This video is going to be about all of the puzzles that I unboxed recently and uh, my thoughts uh, over them after a few hundred or a few tens, uh, tens of solves on a few, some of them. So first when I unboxed this ready cube, it was really bad. It didn't turn at all, basically. It was really disappointing. I was really dis disappointed in this cube. But right now, I actually did like only four, I think four solves on it, and it turns great. I mean, I really like this cube, because it's fun to solve, you don't need to be genius to solve it, and it is an amazing cube, so I'm really proud that I bought it. Next up, this is the Master Morphix. This is basically a 3x3, three three. as you can see, this is the cross, this is the centerpiece, this is the corner, corner, and... When I first unboxed it, it turned so bad, and uh, I was really disappointed with this puzzle, but right now, it is actually quite nice, turning puzzle. It's actually really satisfying to turn these layers, because they shape shift like a boss, and uh, this puzzle is really fun. Next up, we have the Rubik's Clock. Um, first, when I unboxed this, oh my god, I was mad. I was truly mad. Uh, as you can see now, all of the buttons, uh, they work really fine, and uh, I've done only like 20 cells on this, actually like 50, and it turns really awesome, and I'm really happy that I bought it, and uh, sometimes the, the little, they catch a little bit, but uh, it isn't a problem, because this isn't the best uh, clock out there. Actually, I think there is no, no other that you can buy in the internet anymore because there were some scratches, like perhaps, as you can see, it is kind of dirty from the inside, like this part. And I think this is a used clock because they don't produce these anymore. Uh, well, that's my theory. I am, I don't know, but that is why they're not as popular anymore, because they don't get produced anymore. But this clock is actually really good, really good, and I'm happy that it turned out really good. And uh, Because when I first unboxed it, I barely could move this, these things, and now they're, they turn quite fine, quite good. Next up, the 6x6. This is the Wuhas, uh, Wuhua 6x6, and when I first unboxed it, it was just the same as now because I've done only like five solves on this cube and actually it is quite nice and uh, it, turned, it did turn kind of sluggish uh, when I uh, unboxed it in the middle layers uh, but, but now they turn just fine I mean I am not the best 6x6 solver and I'm actually quite bad on 6x6 but it is a good cube and I'm happy about it okay Next up, this is the Wuxiang 5x5, and uh, I need to tell you something. This cube is amazing. Um, although it is not the, um, it is not set up the best as it can be set up, uh, because look at the corner cutting. I've seen people in YouTube cut from this angle, and I can't, I can't do that. My maximum is like at this point, M not even that, I mean it cuts corners but not as good as I was expecting from all the videos out there and uh, I think I will just try to tension it correctly and uh, I think that's the only problem that's, that I need to do because these are the stock tensions and I think they're not perfect Perfect, and uh, yep still Oh, well, my PB dropped by like a minute <laughs> using this cube, and now I average up around 2 minutes 30 seconds, and I'm really happy about it. So, next up, we have the Waylong GTS 2 uh, M Lite from the cubicle.us. Um, when I first unboxed this puzzle, it was good, but I mean, for $50. Come on, come on, for $50? Nah, it's not worth it. It's, it seriously wasn't worth it. I mean, now, if you compare it to the Valk, uh, it is, the Valk is a really good puzzle, and 
The only problem that I had with Valk is sometimes it uh, get locked up. Not locked up, but it catch it catch uh, the corner, kind of catch the center piece, and it it was really unsatisfying sometimes to turn this puzzle because it it uh, makes those little catches, and uh, it usually happens at the competition because then you're because then you are the most nervous and. Uh, and I've heard that magnetic puzzles don't lock up as much as uh, non-magnetic puzzles uh, at the competition because they are most more stable. And I've got to admit, it doesn't catch. It, it doesn't make that stupid and satisfying thing uh, what the Valk does. And uh, well, I've done a lot of solos on this. Like not a lot, like 200, 300 solos, and. I got a sub 13 average of of 100, and I'm really happy with that. And uh, yes, and uh, basically my average dropped by like a second. And uh, yep, it after all, it's not worth 50 dollars. Uh, but if well, if the price would have been like 30, 40 dollars, then yes, it's it's really worth it. But right now, I think it's not worth it. But it is a really good cube, way better than Valk. Okay, so next up we have the X-Man Wingies cube, and this is a really nice puzzle. Okay, it's kind of awkward to solve it at, um, behind the camera, but it is an amazing cube. I got a 5.6, no 5.7 average of 100, and. Uh, that is like incredibly fast, and uh, I've got to say, it is a really good skew. Although the the reverse corner cutting sometimes locks up, and uh, it is really unsatisfying to do the U perm sometimes because they you sometimes lock up. But after all, I'm really happy with this puzzle. Okay, so next up we have the vault uh, square one, and I'm really disappointed disappointed in this puzzle. Because I've seen some really nice reviews out there about this puzzle, but come on, like seriously, it is so blocky. The corner cutting is bad. As you can see, it's like one millimeter. And it basically, well, uh, this is my new main, although I am not very pleased with this puzzle after all. And uh, As you can see, this is the parity, and sometimes it locks up, and that is not very good. And uh, I will tension it, well, I will loosen it up a little bit, but I really hope it gets better because right now I don't, I do not like it. And last on our list is the Eye of the Tiger. It's the Wheel of No. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the X-Men Bell Pyramid, and um, it's magnetic. And I know people in the unboxings do this, but I do not turn the Peter Wings like that. I do it like that. And I really like my turning style because I've I've used to I've been used to it. Okay, wait, the focus is really bad right now. Okay, that shall do the trick. Oh crap, the camera is going to fall. Okay. Um, my thoughts on this puzzle. Oh my god, I love it. I've done like two, two, three hundred souls in this puzzle, and it is fantastic, like really good and fine. And uh, my average, I, I, I'm not going to talk about my solves. I mean, this is way better than my last X Men Belt Pyramids because it, this is new. Uh, I've got to learn how to lube and tension it when it gets old, because I don't know how to do that. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm really happy that I bought these puzzles. And oh yeah, the, the last thing, uh, this uh, the cubicle mat, it is good. It is amazing. Uh, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And this week, um, I am going to Lithuania for to a Rubik's cube competition, and I will make another video on my goals and mains. Uh, you're just going to see the whole this puzzle again. But um, yes, alright, I will see you all next time.